Now suppose we are given the function fx equals 2x squared minus x to the power 3, which is indicated over here. Now we want to find the volume, what we get what, by rotating the area enclosed by the graph of f and the line y equals 0 um, about the y-axis. So that's where we get the figure on the right hand side we get a solid by doing so and we want to calculate this solid well can we actually use the former technique of revolution solid so the volume calculation of um, the difference basically of two uh, revolution solids well, this will be the case if we could uh, could solve for xl and xr in the picture because then in that case we could take a difference we could uh, could rotate xr about the y axis and xl about the y axis so the axis change it's not the x axis anymore but then we could solve for the volume as follows, we could easily say, well, this is for some value of A and B, we could take the rotation body or the revolution solid and um, subtract pi times xr squared with respect to the variable y minus a similar integral uh, with respect to y and this one uses XL but notice that this actually asks uh, demands from us that for any Y we can solve for XL and XR so this, in, this involves the calculation or solving a uh, polynomial equation where the polynomial is of a degree 3 so this is not at all an easy task so in the next clips I, I, I will develop a new method, uh, that of integration by inter uh, uh, cylindrical shells, by which you can solve this problem.